If you pick a key one, make some noise. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that one more time. J. Seb. Yeah. Akeem. Yeah. All right, the crowd goes with Akeem. Where did I start last time? You want me to start with you, Trey? All right. All right, this is a really good battle. I think that you came out with a lot of presence. Like your presence overshadowed his presence on the on the microphone. Him, it almost seemed like you weren't even, it didn't even seem like a pre-written rap. It seemed like you were freestyling the whole time because the way you were attacking like his hair and his shoes and everything, that was, that was pretty dope. Um, That's a battle. I think that, I think that J-Sav had the first two rounds. I think you had the last round for show. But I think that J-Sav won. Alright, yeah. 1-1. Yo, uh, give it up for these two battlers. Yeah! That was dope. That was dope. That was fun. It was interesting, and like, I, I guess the, the first two battles could could wash us and see, like, when they, they, they came off their writings, they were able to freestyle and just smoke it. And it was, it was interesting to me. Because when he was on his written game, that shit was so live. But he didn't he didn't even like lean on his rims. I couldn't even tell if he was freestyling the whole time. So he never leaned on it. So he was just crushing and crushing and crushing. And when he was on his written, he was smoking it. But then when he dropped, I could see when he would drop to his freestyles and like the motherfucker, motherfucker over and over again. And for me, I, I think through just straight, just consistent, just raw, at it, at it, at it, like, at the end, I could not say that J. Sav didn't win that. I gotta give it to my man Sav right here. Yeah! Hey, P, it's on you, man. Unless you wanna pass it off to Steve's and make him be the shot caller here. I'm a man up to the situation. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I, I, I do know both of these guys, and, and I've been um, fortunate enough to actually see both of these guys rap personally and actually stand back and really get to enjoy both of their styles. Both of their styles, because these guys really get it in. One thing I will say is that you surprised me with how much energy you actually came out with. You actually really came with a whole lot of energy. The crowd was feeling it on that first round. The second round, I felt you fell off. The third round, I might have felt you came back. You, I know you. One thing that I even was telling you the other day is that I love the energy. The energy was not here today for me. You came in on the second round and I was not feeling that motherfucker, motherfucker, like, like you said, to bring that back. I was definitely not feeling that. We could tell there might have been a slip up with the situation and you carried that. It was a very close battle. But I would feel two out of the three rounds went to a king. And that's, and that's my personal feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want some people not to like me or something, you know? Damn. Steve's Rainier Express. <laughs> um, let's see. Steve's Rainier Express. Um, Alright, let's be real. Let's be real about it. Akeem, like he was saying, you surprised me because you are a very inspiring rapper. Like that's why I look up to you because you you're inspired rap. You're not. It's not no mainstream. That's real rap. That's that's just real rap. And you surprised the fuck out of me because you came at him straight up. Like I wasn't like I came about to battle. Come on now. He's a little soft for that. No, no. You surprised the hell out of me. You, I, I have no idea who you are. I know you've been messing with Cyrus and them, but I've been listening to your tracks. You're, you're good. You're definitely good. I just want, like, when it comes down to it, there's a reason we have freestyle battle tournaments and pre rins And I feel like you freestyled a lot of your stuff, and I feel like you came in here, I'm not saying ego-wise or nothing, just came in here like, I'm gonna smash them with these freestyles. And you felt like you did it. I'm not saying you didn't or did, bro. You you were killing that just-in-case line, that affiliated. Woo! You guys don't, some of you guys might not understand that, but that is hardcore ass fucking line. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was a fucking fr like freestyle or that was written like he writ that and then spit freestyle from that, but that was fucking dope, dude. So that's why I'm sitting here like I don't really know who to vote to, but if we want to go by rules and stanzas at the end of the day, it's a written and you didn't come with your written, bro. You should have came prepared for that. But I definitely want to see you again, you know. Want to see both of y'all, you know. Alright, well, I guess the team wins. That was a real close battle. I personally can't even call it. There's a fifty dollar prize on this one. I'm gonna work to get the prizes up for all the battles. Cause I wanna see these you know, these guys putting all this work in 
and bringing people out to pay off. Uh, anyways, we got another event going down September 1st. Here again, we're already lining up battles. So anybody that battled today and wants to get another one, or anybody that uh, you know wants to catch the first battle, give me a holler. We're gonna keep the shit moving. Um, I've been keeping this on low, but we're about to have a four MCs, uh, by MCs freestyle battle. Here's fifty dollars, man, of my word. Battle in Seattle, two hundred six versus three six zero. I'm the 360 representative. I'm gonna be battling with all my homies, holding it down. It's like the dream team of Seattle versus Oli. That's going down in November. We got a lot of big shit cracking off. So just stay with us, keep supporting. Thank you so much. We got the t-shirts there. Is anything you need to say, Remax? September 1st, right here. Hold up one second. My boy Keem's got to say something. Hey, much love to all the battlers. This was a dope battle. Yo, check it out, man. Give it up for this man, Jay Sad. Word up, man. Give it up. Yo. Real shit, man. He he came with it, man. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of hard work to come up in here and, and prepare for a battle, especially in people. Everybody has different situations. So, you know what I mean? I feel like he came with it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to take all the money, man. I'm going to break him off with half. You know what I mean? That's what I'm going to do. Because I feel like it was a good battle, you know what I mean? I slipped up on my rating. He came back with his freestyle. It's only right I break him off with half. So I'm going to do it like that. That's what's good. I definitely call that battle a time. Hey, and uh, can I get everybody to say four MCs, five MCs, one time real loud on the count of three? Yeah. One, two, three. Four MCs by MCs. One more time. Four MCs by MCs. Thank you. Keep supporting. Much love. Shout out to Pasquan, HP, Trey, Steez, aka all my judges, Remix. Love working with you. Love collaborating. We can keep this movement going. It's going to keep growing. Better prizes. Better for